Yeah, it's recording, just, just read about that. It's extraordinary to watch, but also, uh, it really can tell you a great deal. Yes. And it was lovely having... Um, Hi. We'll have to be very quick, but we'll see what we can do. Sure. Okay, so... Should we do really quick, two minutes each? Yeah, two minutes very quick. Two minutes each? Yeah. Three minutes Three minutes each. Three minutes each. Sure. So, can I start off? Yeah, yeah, if you could time it, that'd be great. You ready? Okay. <clears throat> so, the topic of this debate is whether or not Jesus is God. I've had a chat with Lamin before about this, so I think a lot of what we've talked about will be brought up again. I want to make a case very clearly that the Bible is clear that it describes Jesus as being God. Why does it describe Jesus as being God? Because it ascribes divine characteristics to Jesus. For example, in John chapter 14, verse 13 to 14, Jesus says that you can pray in his name and he will answer your prayers. He does not say that the Father will answer your prayers, but rather that the Father will be glorified by Jesus himself answering the prayers of the believers. This, even in Islam, is a divine title. Therefore, by Jesus saying that he answers prayers, according to both Christianity and Islam, Jesus is God. Point two is that Jesus claims for himself in Revelation, I believe it's chapter 21, verse 13, might be 22, verse 13, that he is the Alpha and the Omega, he is the first and the last. Now we know from the Old Testament that those are divine titles reserved only for Yahweh, and yet we notice that Jesus himself is taking on these divine titles. Why is Jesus taking on these divine titles? Because he is God. Again, we look in the beginning of uh, John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, um, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and, and the, sorry, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This is clearly a divine title because we see again in John 1, verse 18, that, that uh, 14, sorry, that Word becomes in flesh in the person of Jesus Christ. Therefore, we know that that Word at the very beginning before creation that was with God is later becoming flesh in the form of Jesus Christ. Therefore, Jesus Christ is God. Um, I think that's it. I'm going to start with that. I mentioned we think about a billion people watching these six shows around the world, which is extraordinary. In fact, you answer me. Over here, I did it before, a long, long time ago. But it's one of about Jesus being God. And uh, I quoted there extensively to the Bank B. Smith of Jesus being God the planet. Now, when I say you're on a that's a to me. First of all, before I go into the Bible, to let the viewers know what Islam is all about. You see, Islam simply means submitting, submitting one's will to Almighty God. We the Muslims, we worship the Creator and not the creation. Islam is a monotheistic religion. We believe in all the prophets, every single prophet that came before the last of Islam, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who I said to their people at a particular time period. But Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace upon him, is the last and final messenger sent to the whole of mankind. And Quran is the last and final testament. We believe in Jesus. We respect him. We really fear him. But as a Messiah, no God incarnate. And we are telling our Christian brethren that there is not a single verse in the Bible why Jesus himself, himself said he is God, why he says, What's it mean? Yeah, but instead, the Bible is repeated verses why Jesus is making a distinction between him and Almighty God. So I wonder why Christians don't go to those verses. And you go to the Old Testament. The Old Testament is the pretty verse where Almighty God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of all the prophets said he's the only one Lord. And it's baffling. The only God of John, 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 only John. John, the last gospel. Now we're going to go to the Quran. The Quran, you, it's mentioned the Quran in Surah and Nisa. Chapter number four, verse number one seven one says that all people know the scripture. All Jews, Jews and the Christians do not go to extremes in religion, religion, and do not speak last against Allah, but speak the truth. The Messiah, 
the time. Isa, Jesus, the son of Maryam, the son of Mary, was no more than the messenger of Allah. And his word, which is the son of Maryam, and his spirit created by him. So believe in Allah and his messengers. Wala taqulu salata. Don't say three. It's been time. In tawu karnakum. Okay. This is even better for you. Wala salata is one Lord. See, it's not even three minutes. No, no, that has been three minutes. Seven minutes. Ah, you said, you said three or two? Three no, minutes, three you minutes. said. Ah, that you're stopping it. Ah, three, three, oh, three. Oh, three, three, three. You said three. Oh, oh, three, oh, three oh, you're stopping it. Okay. So when he got the Bible, oh, he said Jesus is God. Now, let, look at this verse. John 14, 20, Jesus said, My father is greater than I. He's still so. If Jesus said, Almighty God is greater than him, how can Jesus be God? You read your Bible, John 5, 30, Jesus said, I can of myself do nothing. Clear. As I hear a judge, and my judgment is just because I seek not of my own will, but the will of him who sent me, a Muslim. In the Bible, in the Gospel of John, John, John 8, 40, Jesus said John. to his enemies, but now you John. seek to kill me. A man, a man who has told you the truth, which I have from God. Who was he talking to? Furthermore, in your Bible. I don't trust you. Yeah. Go, go. Okay, so notice how my, my opponent here did not actually address any of the verses I brought up. I brought up John 14, verse 13 to 14, where Jesus says that you can pray to him directly and that will glorify the Father. That is a clear claim of divinity according to both uh, Christianity and Islam, because that would be shirk in Islam. Now, he hasn't addressed that point because he doesn't have a point to it, he doesn't have an argument against it. If he does, he'll bring it up when he next speaks. And then he danced around the issue and brought up other things without actually addressing what I said. That is a sign of someone who can't actually argue, but rather has to go outside of what I mentioned to bring in other verses that try and support his claim, but will, when explained will fail. For example, he says that Jesus says that he is a man. Well, of course Jesus is a man. We affirm that Jesus is a man. He is the God man. He is both fullness of humanity. Listen, listen, it's my time. It's my time, man. Jesus is both the fullness of humanity and the fullness of divinity. This is clear in our church teaching as well in scripture. So, we also know, for example, that John 20, verse 28, Thomas calls Jesus Christ, my Lord and my God. In fact, in the Greek, it is clear that he says directly to him, he doesn't say it to anyone else, he doesn't turn and look above, he says to Jesus, the Lord of me and the God of me. And Jesus says, now you believe. So Jesus affirms, sorry, uh, yeah, Jesus affirms what Thomas said that Christ is appropriately addressed as my Lord and my God. Now he brought up uh, John chapter 5, I believe it was verse 30, that says that I could do uh, nothing um, outside of the will of the Father. Now we of course affirm this because we believe that not that the Father and Jesus are the same person, but rather that Jesus is not acting in separation from the Father. They are acting in complete union with one another. This is clear and this is a, a very easy to understand verse. However, he tries to uh, misuse it for his own purposes. Uh, what else did he say? He didn't address John 1, he completely bypassed that. Uh, what other verse? Oh, he brought up John 14 verse 28, where he says that, um, that the Father is greater than I. Of course we affirm this. Why do we affirm this? Because, Je because Jesus himself was a man on earth and therefore he was limited by his own humanity, whereas the Father is spirit and is not limited by humanity. That makes complete sense. Hence I have answered your verses that you have brought up. If I've missed one, tell me and I'll address that one as well. Now I would like you to address my verses and I hand over my time to you. We are telling you, there is not a single verse. Why Jesus was on the earth, he told the disciples. He never said he is God, he never was it me. Why did he tell them I'm God incarnate? John 1.1. Did God, did, did, did Jesus said that he was God incarnate? This is John 1 1. Who is John? Tell me who is John. He said, I, I will address his uh, verse, uh, what is his issue. The verse is called it. Let's call it John 1 1. John 1 1 is the, one of the most popular verses. John 1 1. Every Christian is in there. Every Christian. John 1 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. And we are telling them, in the beginning, who was with God in the beginning? The word. No, God, you don't answer. Listen to, listen, to, listen to me. John 1 said, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was with God. And the word was God. This word who was with God. Who is that word? That is the but, word uh, was with God. The Logos is Jesus Christ. Jesus. So in Jesus Christ 14. was with God. If Jesus Christ was with God, was Jesus God in the beginning? Yes. If Jesus as Christ. A second so, so, second person. Jesus the God was with God the Father. Is that what it means? No. Jesus is not God the Father. No, 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 no. I said Jesus the God, the word, the Logos, 
was with God the Father. Is that what it means? Was, was he? Was God with God the Father. Was where? Yes. yes. What? You hear that? Are you hear that? Jesus, according to John 1, according to him, the Logos, the word Jesus, was is God, and that Logos, that God, was with God the Father. My brother, you haven't read your Bible, please. If you read your Bible, I'm going, let me read it let me, so that you can read it. To the bank. I'm going to read it so that you know. No, no, so that to the bank is made. In the book of Deuteronomy, book of Deuteronomy here, you haven't studied your Bible. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 32, uh, verse number 39. Uh, pause it while he finds time to find the verse. No, pause it, no, no, pause it, no, no, pause it, no. Hold on. You see, Book of Deuteronomy. That's all right. Book of, you remember, Jesus, the word, the Logos, was with God, yeah? And that logo, that Jesus is God. God, Jesus the God, was with God the Father. Listen to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 32, verse number 39. God is speaking there, he said, See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. Amen. There is no God with me. Amen. You hear that? Yes. Amen. You believe Amen. that? Yes. What did you just say? Jesus, the word, John 1, 1, you said it, you're on camera. The word, the Logos, which is Jesus, is God, and that Logos was with God. But God said here, there's no God with him. Do you believe in that? Yes. Do you read that? Do you understand? Read it and see yourself. God said there's no God with him. Read that. That's God said there's no God with him. Read with that. And you're on camera. You said the Logos, yes. which is Jesus, is God in the beginning. And that God was it God the Father? God himself said there's no God to the so, John 1 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Okay, so clearly there is a way in which the Father is God and the Son is God. God, because Lamin assumes that God means one person. No, 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 no. I, no Lamin, can you find me a verse in the Bible that says God is one person? Find me a verse in the Bible that says God is one person. Find it. God is one person? Yes. You believe that God is one person? God is not a person. No, 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 no. Look, look, this person. Listen, the person. So, no, wait, this person you're talking Lamin, about, Lamin, show me it's the my time. Lamin, no, you ask me, Lamin, you ask me, Lamin, the person you talk, show me Lamin, the person in there. Respect, it's your Lamin, Bible. Respect. No, you ask, no, you no, ask me. No, no, yeah, no yeah, you yeah, ask me. Yes, yeah, okay, my point is you this. Ask me. Yeah, reply in your time, reply in your time, okay? That's fine. But let me make, finish making my point. Well, you're not dealing with the issue. Okay, you I am, I'm literally not, dealing with it right now. Okay, so listen, okay, so let me explain. Listen, listen. Okay, okay, so... Lamin assumes that God is one person. I am challenging him to find a verse in the Bible that says that God is one person. Trinitarians believe that that one God in the Shema, Deuteronomy 6, 4, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one. And the verse that he quoted in Deuteronomy also says that God is one. Christians affirm this. This is basic Christian teaching. But we also know that the person of Christ revealed that he himself is that same God. That God, therefore, is Father, Son, and also in Scripture is revealed to be the Holy Spirit. That one God is triune three persons, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is revealed to us through the person of Christ and we can see in the Old Testament how these people uh, portray themselves in the angel of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord, and Yahweh. So we know, for example, clearly that God has revealed himself to be triune. That is the proper understanding of, uh, of scripture, holistically, as a whole, and that's how it relates to John 1. Now here's an interesting thing. Keep in mind that I mentioned John chapter 20, verse 28, where Jesus is called God. He hasn't addressed this. Now he said, ah, but show me a verse where explicitly Jesus says that he is God. Find me a single verse where Jesus explicitly says he's not God. Find me one. He can't find you one. He's using uh, syntax, and he's using logistical arguments to try and play with words to make very bad arguments. This is Find me a verse where Jesus says that he is the Messiah and the prophet. Show me where it says exact that in those exact words. He can't find it because that's being semantical. It's being pedantic. Jesus clearly said he was the Messiah and clearly said he was a prophet, but he doesn't have to say it in those words. Just like he was clearly God, but he doesn't have to say, I am God in those words. Basic use of language. I rest my time. Thank you, Larry. See, this is the problem with you. You know, I, I wish you could read your whole Bible and understand the context. You see, you go to church, you mean to do that. You just repeat what you've been told. John 1 1. Uh, you know, 
John 2028, 20, Isaiah 9 6, all these, but I know all of them. It, it, it doesn't make sense. But when you go to the Old Testament, let's go to the Old Testament and see what God says about Himself. I mean, when you go to church, the pastor will never quote these things to you. Do, just as I quote it, to draw on me 32, 32, 39. You, you, you cut yourself out. You made your camera. You said that Jesus at the beginning was God, and Jesus that God, that Logos, was with God, with, was with God the Father at the bank. You. Yeah, you told me that you thirty nine. God said there was no God with him. So that means that when God said there is no God with him in the beginning, then Jesus in the beginning was not God. Finished. But let's go to the Old Testament. If you read your Bible in the book of Isaiah, chapter number thirty, chapter number forty three, verses number ten to eleven. God said, "Before me, no God was formed. No shall there have any after me. I, I am the Lord, and besides me, there is no savior." But they are telling us Jesus is savior. Paul is telling them that. Paul is said that. That if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe, that, believe in your heart that God raised him, you'll be saved. Therefore, in Paul, God is explicit in the Old Testament. He's the only Savior. Furthermore, in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 45, verse number 21 to 22, God said, And there is no other God besides me, a righteous God and a Savior. There is none besides me. 21 says, no, 22 says, Turn to me and be saved. All the ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is no other. Welcome to God. When you go to church, the pastors will never to call this verse to you. God said, He's telling you, He's only one Lord. And He said in the Bible, there is nothing unto like Him, which agrees with what the Quran said. He's in a class, chapter 112, verse number 4. Let me call the Kufu and Ahad. There is none unto like Him. You go to your Bible in the book of Exodus, chapter number 9, verse number 14. God says, that you may know that there is none like me in all the earth. But you're told that Jesus is your fully God, fully man. How could you expect that? And in your Bible, in Hosea 11:9, God said, For I am God and not man. You've been deluded. Read your Bible. God said he's not a man. But we said Jesus is on earth, fully God, fully man. Jesus, fully God, fully man, he's praying to God. I mean, when he was when he was thinking on the cross, according to the Bible, in the book of uh, uh, in, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 27, verse number 46. Hebrew, this Hebrew uh, uh, translation, every Bible, he said, Eli, Eli, Lama, Sabbatani. Oh, Eloi, Eloi, Lama, Sabbatani. Oh my God, oh my God, why has thou forsaken me? Who was he crying to? If Jesus is God incarnate, one, one, one. Who is that God who was crying to? Tell me. 30 seconds. You done? I'm done, God. Okay, cool. All right, so again, he's just repeating the same sort of thing, but repackaged. He's basically saying that, look, all the times that in the Old Testament, it says God is one. Yes, we believe there is one God. But what I'm telling you, and I've made it clear, is that Jesus Christ identifies himself as that God, and he affirms that the Father is that God, and that the Holy Spirit is that God. That to us affirms that God, by nature, is triune. We have no problem with this. He then said, but in the Old Testament, it says, Lamin. And it says in the Old Testament, God is not a man. Well, when the Old Testament was revealed, God wasn't, hadn't uh, enjoined onto himself humanity. So that's completely correct. It was only in the New Testament that God uh, came into the form of man through the person of Jesus Christ. So yes, that's correct. See, again, he's, he's trying to find particular verses that, to take out of context that in reality don't support his position. They support mine. The Trinitarian position can affirm all of the Old Testament and all of the New Testament, where he has to cherry pick certain verses. He mentioned, that, he mentioned about what Paul said, referring to uh, a distinction between the Christ and God. But Paul also says, uh, says this, I'm talking about 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 6. He says, yet for us there is but one God, the Father from all, whom all things came and for whom we live. But there is but one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom all things came and through whom we live. Distinction. He just said that all he things ready. came through Jesus. How is that possible? He's clearly saying that when he talks about Jesus being Lord, he is equating that with the Father God. He is making equations between God and the Christ because he believes they are the same. Do you want to know more? We can read more. Let's read, um, let's read first Philipp uh, Philippians. Let's go to the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verse 6. Let's read this. There we go. Paul, that same author, says this. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ, uh, as Christ, who being in the very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used for his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, 
being made in human likeness. Very clear. You see, he, ah, I see, see what he did now? He said, Paul said that, not Jesus. He said, Paul said that. But he quoted Paul earlier. It was okay for him to quote Paul when Paul said something he could interpret in a Unitarian fashion. But when I quote Paul clearly demonstrating that God is triune, now he has a problem with it. This is the inconsistency of the Unitarian position, the inconsistency of the Islamic position. Islam is not consistent with Christianity. Islam contradicts uh, Christianity because it claims to affirm the Injil, but the Injil contradicts it completely. And again, remember, this whole thing started with me saying that John chapter 20, verse 28, Thomas calls Jesus his Lord and his God. He says to him, the Lord of me and the God of me, and Jesus says, now you believe. Will he ever address the fact that Jesus was called God? Will he ever address that point? No, of course, because he doesn't have a way of addressing it. He is left vacant, completely without it. Do you want more Trinitarian scripture? Let's go give you some more Trinitarian scripture. 10 seconds. All right, in my next wrap-up statement, I'll give some more verses for fun. Pass it over to Lamin. You man is prevaricating. You see, the, the problem with, 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 with what we are telling you, even the non-Muslims call us, non-Muslims call us, I tell you, what, if, the more you dip into the Bible, you go into the Christianity, you can see it's a made of religion. Jesus wasn't a Christian. He, never, he wasn't a Christian. Well, Jesus was a Trinitarian. He never prayed Trinity. I believe you are a Christian, you believe in all these things, but I know Jessica, they've got nothing to do with Jesus or all the prophets. No. And you know Jesus said in, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 46, if you believed Moses, you believe me, for he wrote about me. I'm asking my Christian, what did, what did, yes, Jesus, what did Moses write about Jesus? All this John 1.1, or what Paul said, you cannot find it. Find them in the last of Paul, in the last of, 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 of uh, Moses, Alayhi Salaam, Musa. So that's what I'm saying that he quoted uh, what, John 20, uh, John 28, yeah. when Thomas said to Jesus, my Lord and my God. Yes. What does that mean, God? My Lord, is that God, God Almighty, God the Creator? Yes. You know, Satan is called God in the Bible. Do you know that? The devil. The devil is called God. What's that Theos. got to do with? What's, what's no, what's because Theos, Theos. What I'm telling you, if you look at it, Theos and Theon, do you know the difference between the two? The Theos and Theon. Theos and Theon. The Theos and Theon, they mix these two. Yeah? Theos means Almighty, means there is a general word for all God. Theon is reserved for Almighty God, the creator of heavens and the earth. The Theos here means what? A righteous person can call him God. A king, you can, can call him a God. With a small g. When he said, My God and my Lord, it doesn't mean the creator of heavens and the earth. Because Jesus said in your Bible now, the Father uh, is the Lord of the heavens and the earth, who is the creator according to Jesus. Gospel of Matthew, see inside the devil wrote in the Bible. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 11, verse number 25. He said, and that time Jesus said, uh, O Father, Lord of the heavens and the earth, for you, are, you have revealed these things, you have hidden these things from the land and revealed them to, to the little children. Yes, Father, for this was a good pleasure. So according to Jesus, the creator of heavens and the earth, the Lord of the heavens and the earth, is Almighty God, not him. You are deluded. I believe it, but the church fathers are teaching all this nonsense. You cannot find them in the Old Testament. All the prophets in the Old Testament, the children of Israel, they, are money, they believe in only one God. Yeah, but you're bringing your, 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 how do you call it, verses from the New Testament, go to Old Testament. Oh, say that Deuteronomy 6.4, tell me a children of Israel, who build up. Deuteronomy 6.4 means Father, uh, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Oh, here, oh, Israel, the Lord, Lord our God is one Lord. It's Yahweh. Does it mean that? Yahweh and, is one and Jesus, God. You know what Jesus said himself? Jesus affirmed to that. In the Gospel of Matthew, in the Gospel of Mark, Mark 12:20. 12, 20, now, what did he say? He quoted the Shema. No, no, what did he say? Jesus, what did he say? He said, Jesus said, he said, hear all Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. This is simple. Why can't you follow that? The first commandment. Because the man said, which is the first? No, I'll give it. The man, said, the man is asking Jesus, the scribe said, which is the first of all the commandments? And Jesus said, the first of all the commandments. Hear all Israel, the Lord our God is one. Lamin. Okay. You can't address that. All right, so Lord. first of all, very simple. They try to give a very vague uh, defense of John 20, 28, not being uh, Jesus being called God. I could just bring up a lexicon and I can show you right now. Thomas answered and said to him, my Lord and my God. The word used is Theos. Theos is translated as God. Simple, nice and simple, quick. You guys at home, get out of a lexicon and look at John chapter 20, verse 28. He's trying to say it doesn't mean God, it means Almighty or something else. No, Theos means God, very clear in the Greek. There we are, point disproven. So again, he keeps going back to the idea that in the Old Testament, God is... 
lizards. It keeps going back to the idea that in the Old Testament it says the Lord, uh, our God, is one. We completely agree. There is only one God. But the question is, is what is the nature of that God? It is clear through what Jesus has taught in John chapter 20, verse 28, in John chapter 1, verse 1, in John chapter 12, verse 37 to 41, in John chapter 14, verse 13 to 14, that Jesus is clearly taking on divine titles in the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 1, verse 8. Revelation chapter 22, verse 13. I can keep going with more and more of these. And that's just Jesus' words. If I then include the actual words of Paul in other, in other uh, writings, it's even more clear. And thank you for affirming that the Church Fathers were Trinitarians. Thank you for that. Yeah, but thank, you for, thank you for accepting yeah. that our Church Fathers taught the correct doctrine that is revealed in Scripture, that Jesus Christ is God. He is God and Lord. Just as, Jesus, uh, just as Thomas said he was. Thank you very much, Lamin. I think you, uh, I think you are done. Uh, actually, I promise that I promise I bring more verses up. Actually, actually, wait, no, 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 no. My time's, my time's not done. My time is not done. He, say, he keeps quoting John chapter five. He, 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 he quotes John chapter five, verse 30, and I think he quoted John chapter five, verse 35, 40,000, something like that. But has he read the whole chapter? No. Why? Let's read John chapter five, the same chapter, verse 22 onwards. It says here, moreover, the father judges no one, but has entrusted all judgment to the son. I thought only God judges that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. You are called to honor the Son the same way that you honor the Father. That's clearly a claim to divinity. He hasn't read John 5. He's only read little parts of John 5. This is clearly someone who has either not been sincere or hasn't properly read the text. I think that's uh, I think that's game set so, match, so, in all honesty. So that's, but that's, I'll succeed my time to you. What, what would I want to do that? When Jesus left this world, listen to this. When Jesus left this world, listen to this. Do you want to make a final no, no, statement? No. When Jesus left this world, remember Jesus already left this world. Now the disciples, Peter, and the disciples went to the crowd. You know what he said? Book of Acts, chapter number two, verse number twenty-two. Let's see if Jesus was God. Yeah? It, it, yes. It, no, it's, it's, it, no, give him, give him if Jesus was God, me and Peter would have said that to the, would have plainly said that to the disciples, to, to the children of Israel. Let's see. Book of Acts, chapter number 2, uh, verse number 22. Peter went with the disciples to the crowd. You know what he said? He said, O men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with mighty works and wonders and signs which God did through him and you are witness to it. Can you answer this? Can you? Why didn't Jesus say to them? Why didn't Peter, if Jesus was God? Are you telling me Peter, are you telling Peter if Peter is a liar? Or John? John knows Jesus better than Peter. Who is John? We all know Peter was the right hand man of Jesus. He was rock. He's rock. You know it. The disciples, he, he was their leader. Why didn't he tell them now? Oh, men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a God or Trinity. But he emphatically said to them, Oh, men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God. Distinction. With mighty works and wonders of that. With God did through him and was witness to it. So all the miracles he performed, God was doing it. Why is it when you go to church, the pastors won't tell you that? You don't know that. You will call others, but you haven't memorized that. Why? Because they don't want you to know. Why? Tell me. If Jesus was, was God, time to me? don't go anywhere. If Jesus was God, why didn't Peter say that to the, to the, to the, to the children of Israel? You see? Do you say? Do you say? Maybe, I, look, you are a Christian. You believe in Trinity. It's a fabrication. It's a concoction. He has got nothing to do with Jesus. And your Bible says that. You know your Bible says that? Look at the Bible. You must the Bible. Your Bible says that. This what? thing is a this thing is a fabrication, and your Quran affirms it. No, so no, be careful. No, no. Listen to me. This Bible here, your Bible, you see, that this one, say, this one is corrupted. First translation, corrupted. You're changing the You're changing the No, I'm not changing. And why I say that? The concept of Trinity. The only place you'll find the Bible is the first epistle of John, five seven. For there are three very according to heaven: the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. This Bible said it's a lie. No Quran, it's a lie. That's not these, three are, yes, these three are not one. I mean, your Bible says, I read it, God is your Bible, it's a lie, it's a sin, God. So, your core belief, your own scholars, that you scholars say it's a lie. Trinity, you believe in. I can read it to you now, God. 
Can I answer? Okay. Go. You're happy to see the time? All right, to the time. Okay, I'm going to make a final uh, summary statement because I, I want to sum this up basically. So there are a few things he said. First of all, he said that uh, First John 5 7 is a fabrication. Uh, we agree that it's a later verse because it isn't found in our very rich hey, manuscript hey, tradition, thank you, thank which you. is why no Christian uses it now. Thank you, thank you. Very simple. They, they, it has no relevance to this debate, though, because they, I don't bring it up. No, Hence, but, but it they, has not helped your case no, whatsoever. Yeah, it, Next it, point. It, Next point. Again, he keeps pointing out that Jesus is a man. Yes, Jesus was a man. Thank you very much. It doesn't change whether or not he is God or whether he is not God. It has nothing to do with the actual claim that Trinitarians make. Trinitarians don't say that Jesus was just a man. Trinitarians say that Christ was fully a man and fully God. Yeah, but again, you haven't addressed that point. It's a made up okay, next, next point, next point, next point. He had noticed he hadn't addressed John chapter 20, verse 28. I pointed him to the Greek in the lexicon where Jesus is being called God. He didn't address it because he can't address it. Simple as. I mentioned more Trinitarian verses, uh, Philippians chapter 2, verse 6, where Jesus is called God. He won't address that. He simply is backed into a corner. John 5, uh, verse 22, 23, where the Son is said to be uh, given the same glory that the Father has, which is clearly a divine statement. He won't address that because he doesn't have any argument against that. Clearly, he's cherry-picking his verses because he doesn't have anything more to say. This is the bankruptcy of the Dawah claim. This is the bankruptcy of the Dawah claim. And what, what was the last thing he said? Oh, Peter, oh, why did Jesus not say he was God? Why did he not just openly say it? Show me, show, okay, okay, Peter then, sure, whoever it is. Why, why, in by that same logic, why did Jesus not immediately reveal that he was the Messiah everywhere he went according to the gospel? This is something that we know as the uh, hiddenness of the gospels, as it has an academic term. Jesus was clearly revealing information at certain times and places when it was appropriate. At the end of the Gospels is where you find the highest Christology. Why? Because this is after Jesus is resurrected and Jesus explains to his disciples, which is in John chapter 20, verse 28, that he is God. You can also find this in Matthew. You can find in Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, Jesus says that all power and glory has been given to give him. Given to me, give given him. to him in, give his, him in his humanity. Give because he is a human as the person of Jesus Christ. But you say fully God, fully man on the earth. Yes. But you're, you're contradicting yourself. In in his humanity, his humanity had not been glorified. After the resurrection, Jesus' humanity had been glorified. Hence why Jesus said in 28 verse 19, he, is, he had now been given that authority and kingdoms. His humanity had been glorified. As a Trinitarian, we can give answers to all of these questions. But as a Unitarian or a Muslim, you can't give. All you can do is try desperately to find verses that imply that Jesus wasn't God. But then when you investigate them, you find that he was. Look, I'm quoting you what Peter said. Let him take his last day. I can tell you what Peter said to the crowd. If Jesus was God, Jesus taught the disciples, I mean, three and a half years. Oh, his ministry. Three, uh, in his ministry. Yeah, he three told years, them he never said he's God, he never said, was it me? If he had said that, he accepted Peter, no, Peter would have said in many that. many places. Look, Peter would have said that to, uh, to, uh, uh, to the children of Israel. He said that uh, this verse I quoted you, Acts 2.22. This happened when Jesus left this world. Why did he say that? Forget about the gospel. Forget about it. Peter. Let's go to Peter. And when and another uh, book of us again, five forty-two. They said that this also verse I'm going to quote to you. When Jesus left this world, uh, the disciple. This is what he do in the book of Acts, chapter number five, verse number forty-two. He said, day after day, uh, from temple to temple and from house to house, they never stopped preaching and proclaiming the good news that Jesus, the Messiah, no God incarnate. Yeah, they were going to house to house, temple. What do they preach to? Messiah. No God incarnate. I think you are deluded. The church fathers, yeah, they came up with this concoction. Yeah, yeah, I believe you. Yeah. Church fathers, you are following. You are not following the teaching of Jesus or the prophets in the Bible. You are not. I believe what you said. It's your belief. But it has not, got nothing to do with Jesus. Jesus was not a Trinitarian. He was a Christian. Do you know the first time? The first, first time that the disciples of Jesus were called Christian. Do you know that? Let me ask. Do you know that? I want you, I, I want you to, yeah, because Jesus wasn't, wasn't a Trinitarian, he wasn't, neither was he a Christian. I'm asking you, do you know the first time that the disciples of Jesus were called Christians? Do you know that? Google it out. I want you to tell me. Do you know that? Maybe you don't know. You are a Christian. You, do you know? It's your speech. Your, your final speech. Okay. I'm he doesn't you. know that. I'll tell him when you read your Bible. Um, it is mentioned in uh, it's a uh, book of Acts, thank you. Book of Acts, chapter number 11, verse number 26 says that. And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. Remember, 
the Christ, the, the, the disciples of Jesus Christ, according to the book of Acts, chapter 11, verse number 36, the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. I'm asking you, prior to that, what were they called? Uh, what was in relevance uh, to the point? Get to make your really, point. No, what I'm trying to tell you is that yeah, yeah, make the point. The, the, the religion of Christian, uh, the, uh, 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 the Christianity okay. has got nothing to do with Jesus Christ. Right, that's he nothing to do on topic. No, 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 no. I'm giving an example so that you know that it's not, it's not uh, because when you're quoting, when you, your idea and all these things about Jesus being God is from the church fathers, he has nothing to do with Jesus. Nothing. I'm going to so reply now. No, 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 no. Because no, you, no, you, no, you, no, 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 no. I mean, I'm not. So what I'm, what I'm, what I'm saying, let's go back. Let's go back to the Bible. What I'm, that's what I said to you. In the Old Testament, all the prophets uh, profess to this oneness of God. I'm telling you, don't bring your Trinitarian idea to the Old Testament. No. I'll quote the verse to you extensively. God himself said, you know, you know, Bible, in the book of Isaiah, I'm quoting it. They don't, they don't like going to the Old Testament. No, we love it. We no, love no, it. We love it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. You know, look, if I ask you to quote to me six verses where God speaks about his attributes, I know you've got to feel miserable. Six listen, verses. My, my friend, listen, no, 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 address no, no, my listen, argument. Yeah, You're going on a tangent. I don't that, now I'm telling you that's why you, you hate to go to the Old Testament. Why is that relevant? Because God in Whether the Old Testament, like listen, listen because God in the Old Testament, right. yeah, revealed His identity to the children of Israel. As the, the one God, there is only one God. Yes, we affirm that, hundred uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. percent. Deuteronomy six four, yeah, you, six, four. Isaiah forty five so five. Why, I think why, why did you well. get to, Okay. You know, you got to draw the six four in the Old Testament. So, so many the of the And then Jesus the quotes it in Mark twelve verse twenty eight So many the of the in the Old Testament. It's not there. Who did God show me yeah. the concept of Trinity or the doctrine of Trinity? Show me the doctrine that God is only one person in the Old Testament and the New Testament. But, but, show me. Yeah, well, you go to the Old Testament. Uh, you go to the Old Testament. You can't show me. You go to the You've Old Testament. Argument, I mean. You quoted Deuteronomy 6 4. Six, four. Yeah. Here yeah. is the Lord of I believe it. I'm telling you, the children of Israel. Yes. Uh, Here are Israel. Did they understand the that? God is one. Okay, did they understand that to be God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit? It is not law. We believe that Christ no, you believe. revealed. No, no, you believe. Go to the scripture. Yes, but the scripture isn't your just the Old is, Testament, your is it? Your well, belief is the first. church fathers. Belief. I, have I That's quoted fine. the church fathers in this debate? Have I at any point quoted them? No. Why? Because no, I don't no, need no. to. You say, no. I only need to refer to scripture alone. No, no. Okay. Jesus is fully God, fully man. It's in the Bible. No. Pass Jesus, Jesus called God in the Bible. No, no, no. John chapter fully 20, God, verse 28. Fully man. No, no, no. Jesus is called God. John chapter 20, verse 28. Jesus is called God. Address that point. Address it. He cannot address I, it because address, he knows. Look, look, look. I'll address the point to you here. You have Satan. Satan, is, Satan is called God. He was Satan. Right, so Thomas Theos was calling Theos. Jesus no, Satan. No, no, no. Look, 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 look. The, look. look at the, the absolute the state that you. he has to go look, to. Who is, who is the creator of heavens and the earth? Who? Yahweh. No, Jesus. Father, Thank Son, you. and Holy Spirit. No, 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 so, oh, so, so, ah, the one no, no, God, so, so, Yahweh. So, so, the God of Deuteronomy 6.4. No, no, no. The God of Isaiah 45.5. Who is the creator of the heavens and the earth? Let's Yahweh. Go. No, no, no. So, Yahweh. 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 Yes. Yahweh. I just quoted your verse. No, no, Jesus. Who, who is Creator. Yahweh? Who is Yahweh? Show me one verse in the Old Testament or New Testament that says that Yahweh is one person. Show me one verse. Show me one verse. You think the person is not in the Bible. Which one is not in the Bible? What? What? Well, the, the Yahweh is one person. The father is a person. No, it's the dancing. No, 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 no. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a dark debate. The father is a person. I don't the think he's got more. And the Holy Ghost is a person. Right. You find that in the creed. In the yes, in Isaiah Creed. Yes. Well, it's not here. Right. Well, no, this, it comes you know from the scriptures you know in the Old Testament you know the and the New Testament. Yes. You know the creed? Yes, we recite it in church. The, the, the creed? Yes, the Nicene Creed, creed from 325. No, no, no. From Constant, uh, my friends. <laughs> I think you've. Got, should, we, should we leave it at that? Because no. I think we're going to go well forever and ever. All I'm telling I'm you. Kind of no, 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 don't go. I want to tell you in the Old Testament. Show me where no, 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 Yahweh wait, says he's one person. If you, no, wait, wait. Show me where I'm Yahweh says he's one person. If Jesus is God. Yeah? Yeah? That means that he's the creator of heaven and the earth. In fact, the other day, my African brother said that Jesus created everything. He created the Christians, he created the Muslims, he created everything. So I asked him, where is the evidence? You can't find it. But well, you know the Old Testament, which you hate to go to. No, I love going no, to no, no. I've literally the quoted it. The pastors will go there. Okay, listen to me. In the book of Isaiah. How about Genesis no, chapter 1 verse 26? Okay. Let us make man in our I, I, image. I come to that, I come to that. I know oh, that. yeah, when it comes to that. To that. How about all the places no, no, where... No, 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 no. How about uh, Genesis 19 verse 24? Go, I'll, I'll you want to go to that? If you read the Bible. What about uh, Exodus chapter 3? I'll come to If you read the Bible. I'll come to If you read the Bible. If you read the Bible. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 44, 
Vast number 24. God is talking here. Guys, I think we're listen to me. Now, God, listen, we know Look, who the I've let you make your final no, 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 statement. One, one more. You've made your God, final statement. No, no, God is talking here. Listen Guys, to, we should have a time no, on final no, no, statements no, because no, it just no, keeps no, going. One more. I want to like finish this now. I'm perfectly happy with you don't know who the creator. You don't know. I've already explained this. I've already debated this. He's been able to show me where Yahweh says he's one person. Let me quote. Let me quote. In the Bible, Isaiah 44, 24, God said, I am the Lord who made all things. Yeah, completely who agree. Alone yeah, no other gods. Out of heaven, there is only one who God. Spread the earth by myself. Yep. Completely agree. Why is Jesus? Completely why agree. According to the Bible, why Jesus said the Father is the Lord of heaven and the earth. Yahweh you are, is Father you are to do that. Oh, okay. You are to do that. I'm telling oh. you because you are following the church fathers. We shake my hands. That's it. Right. Nice debate. Thank you very much, Lana. Read the Bible and know who I hope that you read the Bible Jesus, and I hope you abandon Jesus Islam and you become a Christian. A true God. religion. If you read the Bible again, you read the Bible. The Bible. Look at what Jesus did. The Bible. Right. In the Bible. I'll let you guys, you can record Bible, him and let him do his statement.